the Abscondo Podcast. Hello and welcome to the Abscondo Podcast. I was thinking about how every broken relationship is a tragedy. But then I started thinking about that a bit a bit more. I mean, it feels like a tragedy that you, you had something with a person and for whatever reason it ends. It's a failure. But I thought about that some more. And I realized that a broken relationship or a failed relationship of any kind isn't really a tragedy. It's just that the truth is it never even was. It never even existed. It never started. Because if something is real and true, then it must be eternal. If it's changing, then it really isn't, well, it's not real. It's not eternal, right? Um, so a connection with a person that actually is capable of having an ending or of breaking is, was never a relationship, it was a connection based on some external situations or factors. Maybe one person wanted a real relationship or you both wanted a real relationship, but you weren't able to, to get to that place of love where two souls, two spirits connect in that invisible realm where we experience the energy of love. Because if you do connect on that level, it would be impossible for anything or anyone or any situation to threaten the relationship. That's what a relationship is. It's a connection between two people that is unchanging, beyond threat, eternal. So, if you think about, you know, any kind of a broken relationship, a failed marriage, or any kind of love relationship, or even a business relationship or a friendship, whatever is real about it should still be true. And by real, once again, the definition of real and true is that it cannot be changed. It's beyond threat. It's unconditional. So when you look at it this way, the end of a relationship, well, it's impossible. (laughs) It wasn't a relationship if it can end. And therefore, there's nothing real to mourn. You never were able to connect on the level that the relationship could occur. And that level is in the invisible realm of consciousness also called spirit or the soul, where you connect with a person really beyond words and you just know that nothing can change it. You don't need to argue or manipulate the person. You don't need to set conditions or rules. You don't need to even question it or doubt it. It's there. It's always going to be there even beyond this life. Now, I think there's also situ- situations in life where, where some things about a relationship can change, but then there's the underlying love connection that remains true. So this allows, and this is what has to happen with any relationship, that you know people change, our lives change, and we grow, and we mature, or we struggle, whatever it may be. You know, by definition, uh, being human means to to go through a process and, and everything is dynamic and changing. And if a relationship is to last, it has to be able to tolerate those changes in both people. So sometimes people get too wrapped up in those changes, too wrapped up in, on, in, in the behaviors, the moods, um, you know, what you said and what I said and what happened and who did what. And if there is an underlying love, if there's an underlying relationship, which I'm defining, and I think I'm defining it correctly, which is by definition, it's based on love, which has to be unconditional because love is unconditional. 
then I think I think those two people can tolerate whatever changes, whatever struggles, whatever issues they go through, and and remain um, pretty easily because they're rooted in the truth that they have a relationship, which is by definition beyond uh, threat. I think it's rare in this world for people to form real relationships. I think a lot of people go through life with those connections, with those arrangements. A Course in Miracles calls them special relationships, which are dependent relationships. I need you to do this and do that, and I need you here with me um, for security, for comfort. And I think a lot of people sometimes, you know, we go through life with, with that being what we think a relationship is. And that kind of relationship is brittle, fragile. You know, it's probably going to break because things change. It's dependent entirely upon the external conditions of life, and therefore they will break. And at the same time, a real love relationship, you know, it may change form. It doesn't, I'm not saying that every relationship means that you live with a person and you get married and live happily ever after, although that's possible also. What I'm saying is that the love itself, the relationship part of that connection, is eternal. You don't have to argue for it. You don't have to manip- manipulate each other to, to hold on to it or to convince one another that it's there. You don't have to fight for it. You don't have to do anything. You can let go of the person completely. And this is what's meant by this, that, you sh- that to love someone, you know, set them free. So you let go of any situation or any, anything having to do with the physical realm while honoring the relationship, while honoring what's real about what you have between you. And to do this is liberating. To do this will help you cope with rejection, with breakups, with failed friendships, failed business relationships, because you just simply realize that it never was. There's nothing to be mourned if it never even was there. And if it is real and if it is true, it's still there. You don't have to argue for it. You don't have to fight for it. You just have to honor it and be open to it. I hope that makes sense. Thank you for uh, joining me on another edition of the Abscondo podcast. And I'm going to leave you with a song that I wrote and recorded called Come Running by Abscondo. Thank you so much. those times and all those ways I offer to you myself And all those times and all those ways you gave to me yourself We have always found a way when the world is dark and grey To love the love we have If there ever comes a day when I need to run away I think it's time to ask Would you come running, would you come running over, leave me running alone? Would you come running over?